Hello and welcome to the fourth podcast in our Lent series from St John the Divine Kennington on Exploring Prayer. I'm Father Seb, one of the assistant priests here and also chaplain to our parish secondary school, St Gabriel's College. You are very welcome, however and whenever you are joining us. Each week in Lent, we are releasing a short podcast on prayer. In the first week, we explored what prayer is. And in the second week, we explored praying with scripture using Lexio Divina. In the third week, we explored praying with art and music. And today we are going to explore a form of prayer known as imaginative contemplation. Imaginative contemplation is also sometimes known as gospel contemplation. It's a form of prayer in which we enter a gospel story or perhaps a story from the Old Testament, by using the powers of our imagination. In that, we take up a particular character, or we picture ourselves in a scene, being with Jesus, and become aware of what's going on, and how we are feeling, and how we might respond. This form of prayer is one that is used in the spiritual exercises of St Ignatius of Loyola. It's a form of prayer in which we do not attempt to fill out the gospel stories or try to exactly understand the historical facts of the story or what exactly might have gone on. Rather, it's about letting ourselves take on a character, putting ourselves in the story, seeing how we might interact and see how God might speak to us today. So when we're imagining the story, it doesn't matter if it takes place in a modern day scene or it could take place indeed at the time and the setting of the particular story. What's most important is that we trust that we're guided by the Spirit and that we can trust that God is speaking to us through this time of prayer. This form of prayer begins with reading a passage slowly and reading it several times and through that we can really come to see what is going on in the story, to see particularly the energies, the colours and the scenes that are unfolding before us. It allows ourselves to be saturated by these images and in that perhaps our distractions can be minimised and it allows our hearts to become open to prayer. So first of all, we will spend a little time coming into an awareness of the presence of God and remembering that God loves us. Then we might read a passage, a gospel passage or a passage from the Old Testament that involves a story, slowly and several times. First of all, we might imagine that the event is happening now and seeing it unfold. If this is something that we find difficult, perhaps we could imagine that we are telling this story to a small child, making it as vivid and as alive as possible. Through imagination, we enter this scene or the story as if we were really there and trust that the Spirit is leading us. Perhaps we may see the place, the people, the events, or we might sense that we are there, not so much through pictorial images, but more through feelings or awareness. We can use our senses to look around us in the scene, to listen to the sounds, to see what we might be able to touch or feel, what can we taste or smell. Then we might like to think about ourselves being a character in the scene. We could be at the centre of the story. Or we might be a bystander, someone just watching what is going on. But this doesn't have to be fixed. We could find ourselves changing role from time to time. Watch what is happening. Listen to what is said. And talk to the people who are there. Talk to Jesus. Then we might let ourselves wander from the scene feeling whatever we feel relating to the people there, noticing what our reactions are, and allowing our own life experience in this day and age to mingle with that which is going on in the story. At the end of your time of prayer, 
you might like to spend a moment reflecting upon what took place during this prayer. What happened to you during this prayer? What did you notice that stood out? Did you find any form of transformation taking place? And is there something that you might like to take out into your daily life? Finally, give thanks for this time of prayer. I hope that you can find imaginative contemplation a form of prayer that really aids you. It doesn't necessarily come easily to everyone, so if you find that it isn't something that speaks to you or helps you immediately, that's absolutely fine. It's something that can take a little bit of time. I close with the prayer of St Ignatius of Loyola. Lord Jesus Christ, take my freedom, my memory, my understanding and my will. All that I have and cherish you have given to me. I surrender it all to be guided by your will. Your grace and your love and wealth are enough for me. Give me these, Lord Jesus, and I ask for nothing more. God bless you on your Lenten journey this year. And from all of us at St John the Divine, Kennington, have a blessed and holy Lent. God bless you all.